Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 5 of my Minecraft Stone Block Let's Play. And um, yeah, it's been a few days since I was uh, recorded the last episode. Uh, so I wasn't able to record, so I went ahead and did some things off camera. Um, I dug out the rooms at either end of this hallway, one for the mob farm and one for a passive animal farm. Uh, the mob farm seems to be working a little bit. I'm getting stuck. Um, another thing I've noticed since, uh, since I built this is that I'm going far enough away from, uh, the middle that, um, endermen are spawning in my base. Oh my god, this guy is so super tough. Look at me, he has 21 armor. I need to... Make sure I'm doing oh, like he didn't even take damage half the time, so that was really weird. Uh, I put some little chests over here for mob drops. There we go. Um, yeah, I just made it one wide. I also made this outer lip too wide because, like I said. I have been getting Enderman spawn in here. Um, that's also a reason why I put these boards here. Uh, it sort of helps. Uh, sometimes if I duck over here, or if I duck in here, they'll go up the stairwell and then come down in the middle. So I just come on, on this side and beep, beep, beep. So there's my Ender buffers. <laughs> um, all I did was I made a little uh, nine by nine patch of dirt, and then I had to sift some grass. I mean, dirt. Uh, so I harvested up a couple of stacks of that, and then sieved it. I had to use, I think, I think I used just the plain screen mesh. Um, because that gives you the base seeds. Where did I put those? Over here, yeah. So we now have eight seeds, a pumpkin seed, a melon seed, some sugarcane seeds, potato seeds, carrot seeds, and an extra grass seed. And I had a, a... Oh my cat, she's sitting on my mouse. Sorry, I gotta shoo her off. She is not happy. Oh, she is hissing at me. She does not like it when she doesn't get to sit on the mouse. <laughs> she doesn't really sit on it, just near it to where I can't move the mouse very, very well at all. Um, I have killed a few Endermen, like I said. Uh, they actually killed, the first one killed me. Uh, I was in there in the mob room, killing in... Uh, one of them was in there and he could hit me uh, from there. So that's why I added the extra layer of um, blocks on the outside of it <laughs> so that I could stand here and hit, kill the Enderman without getting it. So yeah, oh yes, I, there is something upstairs that I need to show you. I talked about making a bonsai room. Let's see. The, yeah, the south room. The room on the south, I made four hopping bonsai pots and four of these small storage crates. Oh, look at that. This guy has been giving me some apples. I love it. We got more food. Let's um, put two back in there. I, I thought the the dark oak would also give me apples, but it doesn't look like it has. But they haven't been going for, well, yeah, they have been going for a while. Because they, like I said, they're not super fast. It's just that they, they sort of do their thing in the background. And we're getting cocoa beans, too, from the jungle. 
trees, which is awesome. Okay, so now we got a few more apples. Oh, wow. I, I've been getting these freezes every now and then. <laughs> it's not too bad. Um, and it always seems to come back, but it is sort of annoying. <laughs> um, awesome. So I did go ahead and I had, I had several stacks of gravel and dust and I went ahead and sieved that up and smelted it and the that's the iron that's left uh, after I made you know four hoppers um, I did take some of the clay that I had made up I think it was eight eight of the clay and I smashed it into balls and then baked it into bricks and that's uh, basically you make a boat shape like that and that makes the hopping uh, or the bonsai pot and then you combine that with a hopper and it gives you a hopping bonsai pot. And then you also have to put dirt in it now. You used to not to when uh, when I played through this before with my husband. It didn't take dirt until they did an update. So I guess you can plant other things in there other than trees now. Like maybe you could do... Um, nether ward because I said when I um, tried to put a sapling in it without the dirt in there it said uh, this uh, needs dirt try netherrack and I was like netherrack's not dirt but okay uh, so maybe you can put um, nether ward in there I'm not sure or, or maybe you can put one of those redstone trees from the nether in there. I'm not sure. That was something new. Okay, so we got those. I have, I don't think I have everything for this quest. Oh, I might have the bones. Oh, and I do have the ender pearls, but I don't think I have 12 rotten flesh. I just haven't seen that many zombies. So. But I know we have the bones. Bones, bones, bones. How many is it? Uh, yeah, we only have f five. Uh, sorry, uh, hiccups. Hiccups are a thing. So I, I hope that stays like that if I put the... Yeah, we need a few more... Oh, we had exactly six bones. Wow, cool. Uh, I haven't had that going for very long. I did kill a few mobs, but not a whole lot. Um, I did have a spider spawn in here, and I went ahead and I, I turned on F7 and made sure everything was lit up everywhere. Uh, so there may be a few more torches uh, around. I still haven't seen any mobs, and this is a jungle jungle hills so i'm pretty sure they should spawn but if we don't get them um i think there's things you can make to get animals um like Uh, oh, that sounds interesting. Farming for blockheads. Oh, nice. Um, let's let's check that out. Uh, cooking for blockheads. Okay, let's do at farming. Okay, so it looks like they've got fertilized farmland. Okay, there's nothing in that. 
red fertilizer, green fertilizer, yellow fertilizer. So I guess you can put these on the blocks to keep it from trampling, to increase crop output, or to speed up growth. Interesting. What does this stuff take? Oh, and it makes four. Oh, it takes coarse dirt. Oh, sweet. And this takes... Um, mm, that is very interesting. So you got a chicken nest. Oh, and that collects eggs laid by chicken. That is cool. Although, I think for chickens... What is the market block? Does it, it has to be red wool? That might be interesting to see. Does it sell stuff or what? Let's check that out. But we don't have wool. But we can make one. And that just takes logs. Uh, yeah, I think we could do that. Um, we do have some bone meal in here. So I think we should be able to get a red flower. Eight of those. Four of those. Oh, this is so cool. Um, my husband, when I played with him, um, with stone block, he did chickens. And, oh man, the chickens are so super cool. Um, oh, I hate it that it was just a skeleton. I wish it was a zombie. I think they need to make more zombies spawn. But my farm is really small, uh, so maybe we need to make another one to increase the amount of spots that they could spawn. So let's try this and see if we can get a red flower. Oh, first try! Score! Oh, look, we're getting um, seeds from that, too. We got a corn kernel. Oh and another seed so we just want to turn that into that oh let's go see what this market is about we just needed a couple of planks oh a couple of planks who were up to no good and ta-da see I wonder what what it what does it do Um, let's come place it in here. What the crap? Um, oops. It's a guy. <laughs> um, I think a, another market that was in cooking for blockheads did that so that's how i knew that uh, he's an emerald muncher okay so it looks like you can buy different seeds and looks like you could buy the pam's harvest craft stuff and it's got the cost in emeralds at the bottom there oh look you buy seeds oh look at all of them i like this uh, over the Pam's Harvest Craft market because the Pam's Harvest Craft you have to sit there and uh, click through all of the uh, the different things and this one you can go through and you know just scroll through the whole list and pick the one you want without having to go through every single one one by one Plus, you can get saplings. Oh, this is awesome. Looks like you can get Natura saplings. And all of the Pam saplings. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, look, you can even get 
the Natura bushes. Oh, that's awesome. And regular vanilla saplings. And you can get bone, bone meal. One bone meal for one emerald? That's a little bit excessive, I think. <laughs> I don't think that's a fair trade there, mister. But it looks like everything cost one, one emerald. So that's pretty cool. Even the bushes? No, those cost three emeralds, two emeralds. So that is pretty cool. Awesome. So maybe, um, that was the mailman. Sorry, he spooked me. <laughs> so that's cool. I, I'm sorry, I, I got sidetracked. Um, <laughs> but it was awesome seeing it. We got an extra seed over here those away and there we go so again <laughs> oops I I wanted to look for there's some type of trap is a trap a water trap and a ground trap oh that's Pam's harvest craft um, I think if you don't, we might do these instead because I think this just gives you the drops instead of you actually having to care for the animals. You put, you build these traps and then you put um, bait in them. So let's do this and then do bait. So they have uh, four different kinds of bait. You could put fruit bait, and I guess that gives you fruit, grain bait, and that'll give you uh, grain, veggie bait. Um, actually, I don't think, I think it just, the as long as you have the bait in the trap, it will give you different things based on what you put in there. I'm not 100% certain because my husband did all this. And I guess if you have this water trap, you can put a fish trap bait in there. And then it will give you fish stuff. So that's kind of cool. So... Uh, what does it take to make, you can use string and any type of fruit or string and any type of grain and string and any type of veggie. Okay. Well, we don't really have a farm going. We can get string. Uh, because we can we have silkworms and we can make the string like that, but there are also crops, but we're not ready for crops yet. But it, this is a bonsai tree and it's a spider web sapling that you just take a sapling and three string and you get a string sapling interesting because I have lots and lots of these oh I only need three. So that's kind of cool that you got a string sapling, a spiderweb sapling. 
Let's go up here. Oh, look, we got mobs over in the mob farm. I need to go. Let's let's go clear that out first. Oh, so hard to run when you push shift. Oh, these look like skellies. A baby skeleton. He makes a little baby chunk. Oh, they're all skeletons. See what I mean? There's like hardly any... There's hardly any zombers. Okay. Ooh. How are we ever going to get the rotten flesh for that? So I want to go and switch one of these things out. I think I'll do... Oh, it's so hard. So hard to decide. I mean, this one we're getting cocoa. This one we're getting spruce. This one we're getting dark oak. And this one we're getting oak wood and, and apples. Look at that. It got us eight apples just while I was gabbing. Uh. Maybe I'll just make another one. Oh, look, we got a, another skeleton skull. Alright, and now we need another hopper. We got a little bit of iron over here. left from the sifting that I did. Boink! 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 Oh yeah, and I want a crate too. Whoa! Um... need sticks I think I think it's like this and like that and like that no I can't remember let's do it like this great ah it was the opposite There we go. So let's go put this up there. Because we need the string. We have a little bit now, but this will be building up, so... Oh, good, I went to the right one. Um, let's put it over here. And you got to make these too tall in whatever block you're you're putting them on you got to make them too tall if it's just one it won't grow oh i forgot the dirt try purple slimy dirt i have a purple slimy dirt but i don't want to try it i wonder if um if you have to have slimy dirt now to get the slimy saplings to work um because I know when I used them before, you didn't have to have dirt. You could just put the sapling in. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting string, which will be awesome uh, so that we can make bait for our animal traps. Because um, animals are noisy and um, you have to make... Oh, we got... What is that? I was, oh, I must have not picked up. Oh, we got a zomber. Yes, my prayers have been answered. Oh, he didn't drop any zombie flesh. He dropped experience. I didn't 
get experience from killing anything, but I can't get rotten flesh from anything but a zombie. Mr. Has. I need to make a weapon so I can stop. Oh, look, he's got armor of 14. Oh, that was a skeleton. Oh. Only one zombie flesh. We still need six more. All right, um, so the traps look fairly easy to make, too. Oh, that's not what I wanted. So what we need to do is we need to get these traps going. And I believe how this works is you have to have at least five grass around it up to eight and the more grass it has around it the faster it works um, oh and it takes string to make it so maybe like we'll put and I've I think while my husband was using it we found that Sometimes when they're too close together, they don't work as well. So maybe we'll just make like four of these and put one in each corner of our grass section. And what was on my head? Look at that. I was a skeleton. That's crazy. Okay. Wasn't it just wood, it's just wood and sticks? Oh, no, we need a tr four trap doors. And some sticks. And some chests. Uh, those are still two, excellent. So there's our four. Yeah, that's pretty cool that you can do the recipes like that. And now that's our sticks because we need four. And we need four chests. Boink! There we go. Awesome. Now these aren't going to work until we put the bait in them. So we need to get uh, some farm. So what I might do is um, go off like on each side. Hmm. Yeah, here in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, nerds. Oh, that is no good. Okay, we're going to have to go make another hammer so I can finish out this room. Um, yeah, I think we've probably been going on for a while now. Let's make two hammers instead. Like this. Doink. 
because I want to I want to dig out uh, more. So um, yeah, let's go kill these mobs. So we'll call this an episode. What I'm going to do is probably prepare some room for farmland so that we can get some farms going and make some bait for those traps. Uh, and that would be well. And I'll try to uh, come over here and kill the mobs uh, so that we can get the drops for the quest. Boink! Oh, did he drop some? Oh, he dropped two! Sweet! Now we only need like four more. And he dropped this glowstone chest plate. Oh, why not? We don't have anything on. Uh, I also had one drop a steel sword. There, we got tons of food now. We're rolling in the food. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and call it here. I'm going to do some more, you know, offline work. I'm going to make... Oh, that makes that go away. If you push escape. What if I push E? Yeah, that makes it go away too. I was going to point on to the uh, mini-map there. So that you could see. But... Um... I can't move the mouse. Uh, so, anyway, to the north and the south of this room, I'm going to dig out two um, separate areas. One's gonna, I'll probably, I'll probably make it this size, uh, a nine by nine with a three by three. Um, or three wide walkway all the way around it and then I might do extra rooms on the outside just so we have plenty of farmland for a bunch of different crops because Pam's Harvest Craft is in here guys you gotta have all the stuff and things um yeah I'm gonna go ahead and make this a I don't like having just a um <laughs> A one wide tunnel it makes me very anxious anyway um thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time bye bye